when I put my seatbelt on, it does go right where my port is, which can be irritating and uncomfortable. So I found an awesome solution and I want to share it with y'all. Sunday afternoon y'all welcome to our vehicle I'm here with Miss Hippo you want some more air turn up the rear AC for her there you go right. you just get comfy you don't have to stay there you can lay down what you want so anyways hello y'all today has been a bit tricky for me I woke up hurting quite a bit I was really discouraged because I knew I didn't have the energy or the ability to attend church. I love going to church because I love the people there, I love worshiping, and just couldn't do it today. So I gave my body what it needed, I rested, I'm still experimenting with the cannabis, and I will give y'all an update on that probably this week. But. It was a rough morning, still kind of a rough day, but I decided I'm gonna do something productive and I'm gonna make an easy, quick video for y'all to answer a question I've gotten a few times. How do I drive with my port? And it's not really driving itself, but if y'all see, the area where ports typically are placed in the chest kind of go in line with seatbelts. When I put my seatbelt on, it does go right where my port is, which can be irritating and uncomfortable. So I found an awesome solution and I want to share it with y'all. So when I had my first, it's bothering me. Um, when I had my first port placed, it was on this side of my chest and you can see the scar from where it was. So obviously while I was driving, the seatbelt didn't really interfere with that. Of course though, when I was sitting in the passenger side, the seatbelt would go over my port. So what I would do is I'd have like a seatbelt comforter here, which, <gasps> this thing you can find them pretty much anywhere um, and when you're a passenger it's easier for me to lean back so the seatbelt isn't aggravating my port but now when I'm driving and since we've switched the side for my port um, with my new one the seatbelt is in the way and I could keep pushing it down but when you're driving it's gonna keep coming back into this area and I don't know when I'm driving, I focus on the road. I don't want to focus on the seatbelt aggravating my port. So what do I do? Well, when I got my port surgery and switched it to this side, I had a friend who I was venting to and just like, it's so difficult, like the, the recovery. And now this, I can't drive in the car, the stupid seatbelt. I don't want to do this because I don't feel safe. And she says, listen, Jackie, I'm super short and I have a solution for you. I'm like, okay, I don't know what being short has to do with it, but I am ready for anything and she gave me this simple little gadget it's awesome y'all so basically she's very short and without this bringing the seatbelt down it'll hit her like in the neck and in the face and so how it works is you just put the seatbelt through here and then you clip the buttons And voila, it shortens the seatbelt. So when I'm wearing it, the seatbelt naturally goes right there, not bothering my port, and I'm, I love it. So this is what it looks like when it's on. Um, you can, the closer to the buckle it is, the higher this will be. The more you pull this across your stomach, the lower this will be. So as y'all can see, whoop, when this is on, it doesn't interfere with my port and I can drive and it's great. Now this one, like I said, was gifted to me by a friend, but I looked on Amazon and there's so many similar items. So I'll put some links in the description. I'm sure this can be helpful to at least some of y'all with central lines in your chest because it's just such a simple solution to bring the seatbelt down lower so it doesn't interfere. And then those seatbelt comforters are a great idea too. I actually like to use that if the seatbelt's anywhere near my feeding tube and my stoma because, you know, I don't want anything irritating it. And a little pressure is not 
dangerous on my tube or my port, but it's just nice to have it out of the way so there's no rubbing and uncomfortableness and irritation. So that's what I had to share with y'all. Hi, Lou. Gonna come say goodbye with me? So that is uh, what we had to say. Oh, I know some of y'all are probably gonna ask, can you drive? Yes, I can drive. Once a year, I get medically evaluated by the state where my doctor has to fill out some paperwork and I've never had my driver's license taken away. The state says I am good to drive under my doctor's discretion. Sometimes my doctors will say, you know what, your health is too unstable. We're not comfortable with you driving. I just won't drive. Um, but for the most part, I do drive around town to my close doctors. I can go to the supermarket, I can go to my church, um, but I can't go on highways. I'm not supposed to drive at night. I can't drive very much at once, like 20 minutes or so. Um, but it allows me to do what I need to do. And if I have to go somewhere further, I've just asked someone for a ride. Right, Hippo? Best dog? All right, well, yeah. Once again, this uh, gadget and similar ones to it are great if you have a central line in your chest and you want help making the seat, seat belt more comfortable as well as seat belt comforters. And uh, with that, Harlow and I will say goodbye. And thanks for joining us on our adventure. Bye.